Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I will be rechecking out a track from 156 Silence. It is called For All to Blame and this was new and now it's been out for a few weeks because it came out when I got sick but I wanted to be sure to listen to it while doing a video so I have saved it. It is been now announced that they have an upcoming record narrative which will be out on September 2nd that is fantastic news because I loved their EP from last year they put out a song this year called a past embrace which I did a video for and loved as well 156 silence is just killing it so I'm very excited about that I'll be doing a video or stream for it of course I will link pre-orders in the description as well as the music video I will be checking out today other than that I'm gonna stop talking and we are gonna get straight into it Talking about those very 156. Fifty six silence for all to blame. Let's discuss. It's so heavy, but it has those like, for example, I think it was about it was towards the end of the song where you're getting all that chaos. But in between those moments are just these more melodic feeling 
softer moments although like it remains heavy at the same time it's super hard to explain but 156 is one of the only bands that gives me that feeling and it's one of the things that i absolutely loved about the ep the ep is still something for me that i've been revisiting a ton the wrong sense is hands down my favorite 156 silence song it's i don't know i just can't i can't get over that song it's the vocal delivery it's the, the instrumentals to match, it's the heaviness while also being lyrically heavy, where with this I, I feel similar about it. I think that one it will be hard to to beat that song for me, so I'm not going to compare them yet when I've just heard this, uh, but this appeals to me in that same way as when I heard that song for the first time, and what's interesting is that song grew on me from the first time that I heard it. So. If this does that, that's that's great because listening to it just this once, um, I, I love this band. They just have that sound, and also Jack's vocals. I feel like add add a ton to it, but the band matches that instrumentally. It's just his vocals, um, like I mentioned in that like sort of talking in the beginning, and you you hear it again in the song. It, it I associate that a hundred percent with them and it's something i've grown to really love whereas before i was sort of indifferent about it and now i love it so i don't know what that says either but i i just am stoked on this band i'm trying to think of something actually constructive or whatever to say they are one of those bands that can do the fast pace so well yet the slow equally as well it i don't know how to explain that better like i guess with some bands it's like I'm more appealed to their heavier side or I'm more appealed to their softer side. Like I lean more one way of preference, not enough to where it like, you know, overall really matters that much. I maybe, maybe with some clean vocals, that will be the case. Like there are a few metalcore bands where there's like a lot of auto tune on the clean vocals or something. So I don't like them, but with this, it's, uh, that's not really what I'm talking about. I mean, just like in a sense where I'm like, oh yeah, hundred percent. It's, it's this that draws me to that band. But with 156 silence, I feel like it's it's both like you know you can get some of those some of the vocal delivery as well with the fast uh, you know the fast stuff it's it's just goes from that to a, a big instrumental drop where jack's able to to match that energy i guess really well or i suppose you could look at it either way like the band can match they just they all do both sounds really well the drumming on this very standout as we approach the end of the song too just everything every part of the song had something to say towards the end there. I feel like everyone individually sort of uh, got a chance to shine throughout the track. Uh, in my opinion, the vocals are, are usually shining like across the tracks. A Past Embrace is a, is a good song. It's a great song. It's one I still do some revisiting on, um, but this feels like that next level 156 silence even more to me uh, because it's just got all my favorite parts of it are so different, I think, that, that that's what makes it wonderful. All in like a three minute, like a little oh, three and change minute song. I'm here for that, for sure. Uh, having that ability, like when it turns red towards the end and then breaks down again where the song, it for sure could have cut off without going into that last breakdown. And though it would have been much less of a song, I think, um, it still would have been an excellent song. I still would have been happy with that because of what I said everyone got a chance to shine really before that and then that ending there just felt like kind of reiterating like yep so bass that's one thing that really stands out for me overall with this band their style gives a lot of room for the bass to shine as well and if you've seen a few of my videos or something you probably heard me mention bass before I love when the bass can come through that way uh, there are a few bands that just have this excellent sort of in 156 is is one of those bands for sure so this could be one of the albums i'd say there are very few announced albums right now that i think could be towards the top of my list uh, especially with fipper and autopsy sitting up there so nicely uh, invent anime has not announced their record yet um, so if that comes out this year that will very likely be my album of the year but 156 silence is one of the only other records that's been announced already i think that could be up there for me they, they're just really appealing to me I've, I've been really digging them so if the ep was sort of foreshadowing of what's to come on this record there's no way that that thing won't end up towards the top for me so i will stop blabbing about this now let me know what you thought of the song in the comments what you're thinking of the record if you're stoked for it like i said pre-order links will be in the description as well as all of 156's social media and the video that i reacted to in this reaction 
Other than that, you can also find my link tree in the description, as always. It will have the invite for the Discord server, which has a bunch of really kind people. Uh, some of my favorite people are in that server. We've got music-related conversation, last FM stats, conversation unrelated to music as well, just kind of a lot going on. So if you're interested in coming and join, check that out. That will be there. Also, of course, my Instagram profile link, which I do post all music-related content on there. Sometimes on my story about new videos or songs that I find, I'll post merch. I have a never-ending merch collection, and I post once or twice a week, usually t-shirts, sweatshirts, vinyl, flag, whatever I have ready to go for that week. And then beyond that, sometimes I'll post shows if I've been to a show recently and have pictures or videos to share. And then every Friday I share a chart of what I've listened to the most over the course of that week. So if that interests you at all, my handle on there is Rachel Reacts. It is the same as my YouTube channel, but I will have that link in the, in the link tree in the description. The struggle is real. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.